Hello, Leos. I am back in California again. So I am ready to get into some readings here. Uh, last reading I did, I was getting that, you know, June was going to be, or, or May, June, you know, major transformation, uh, huge energy shifts regarding love, um, ending some kind of karmic cycle, like you've reached completion regarding something. It's like this death and rebirth process. So you've got a lot of good energy coming in. Um, a lot of just, it's a lot of transformations. It might seem like a roller coaster at times, but it's all for the best. It's all, it's like your soul wants this mentally. Some of you might be struggling to keep up. Some of you might be kind of overwhelmed by all these changes, by all this energy, feeling like you're on the verge of something new, something very big. Um, but it's, it's for the best. Like, even though it's kind of scary, it's kind of un, unknown, kind of uncomfortable. It's, it's what your soul wants. It's like, it's, it was time to get out of the stagnant energy. So things are changing for you. You got some truth and clarity coming in here as well. Passion, romance. Ooh, that's good. Pride, stubbornness. Okay. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. New love, faded encounter. Make your move, green light. I feel like some of you might be meeting someone online. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Ooh. Tell me more about this energy up here. Waiting, hoping, praying. Sex, seduction, okay. I feel like... So I feel like there's two variations of this story. Either you just ended this karmic cycle, maybe it was like um, something sexual with someone that you wanted to be, it to be more, um, or it was just very kind of shallow surface level, but you're waiting and hoping and praying for it to be something more. Um, that passion and romance was there, but it was just getting like translated the wrong way. And there was pride and stubbornness that kept you guys apart and you started feeling alone. You started feeling like empty in this connection. But um, this could be the karmic cycle that you're wrapping up. You're coming out of this energy. You're letting this person go because the truth is coming out. And also you're just being honest with yourself that you don't want this anymore, that you don't want to wait for this. You, I feel like you held on to the potential like of what this could be, you know, the passion, the romance, like what you, got, what you could have had with this person. And they just refused to let it get past a certain point. Like they made it just sexual or they made it, they just put limitations on it when it could have been something more. And I feel like you waited for this person for quite a while. And I just feel like you got tired of waiting. You got tired of being stuck in this cycle with this person. Um, it's like you guys were just not on the same page. You were wanting, they weren't letting you in. They weren't letting it get deep with you, but you really wanted it to. And you thought maybe if you waited, maybe if you tried hard enough, Maybe at a certain point, they would kind of recognize what was in front of them, but they just didn't. It's like they just looked the other way. You ended up looking the other way, too, because you were so hurt, um, male or female, either way. And it left you feeling isolated, alone, empty, confused, not feeling good enough. Um, and now you have your true love coming in. You have new love coming in, someone that's going to be mutual with. And I feel like you had to go through this karmic lesson to see what you don't want. It's like that's that karmic cycle that you've just wrapped up. It's like you, as much as it hurts, it's like you needed to realize your worth through this situation. Now you know that you never want to go through that again. You, you learned a hard karmic lesson. You learned that you can't change people, that you can't wait for someone, that you can't just love someone out of their own toxicity. Like if someone, someone's either going to appreciate you or they're not going to, you know what I mean? Like you just kind of understand that, that, um, it's not worth it to just give and give and give and to someone who's not giving back. There needs to be a mutual energy exchange. And I feel like you understand that and you value your energy a lot more and you're much more cautious about who you spend your time and precious energy and attention on because you just went through this. Um, the other variation of this story is I think this might be what your person just went through. So I feel like you guys were right for each other, but it was the wrong timing. You both had these karmic cycles to wrap up first before you guys could meet each other. And this could be someone from the past coming back that's maybe 
maybe like you guys never dated, like you just kind of had a thing, but like you guys were with other people and now you have this chance. I feel like this is probably someone that you have not dated before though. So it's either someone from your past that it just, things never took off. Like, you know, maybe one of you wanted them to, but it was just the right person, but the wrong timing or it could be a brand new person that you've never even met yet. But, um, but it's new love either way. Um, but like I said, the other variation of the story is it might be that your person went through this. Your person went through, you know, this cycle of, of um, waiting and hoping and praying and, and trying to get this person to see their worth and, you know, wanting that passionate, romantic connection. And they were so tired of waiting for it that they just projected all their hopes and desires onto this, this karmic partner and it left them feeling isolated and alone and empty. Um, so they could have just gone through it. It's also possible that you guys both are mirroring each other and you both just went through something like this. Like you both are ending karmic cycles with other people or you've ended karmic cycles with other people. And I feel like you guys are going to have a deeper appreciation and understanding for each other when you come together. Because it's like going to be able to relate to this energy to going through this. Like you both needed to go through these karmic cycles with your karmic partners. And now you have this, this person that's like a potential life partner, I feel, um, that's going to make you feel at home that you're going to feel safe with them. It's not going to be just sexual or just shallow. They're not going to shut you out. It's going to be, you know, mutual feelings, emotional depth, um, you know, green lights instead of red lights, you know, making a move towards you. It's really good energy here. So, yeah, still going through those energy shifts regarding love. It's really good. Um, and if this is your reading and you want a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box, right below this video. Any donations are also appreciated. And um, please subscribe if it resonates. Yeah, you're going to be getting out of stagnant energy with this person, like adventure, honeymoon, vacation, you know, maybe meeting them when you travel for some, or they might be traveling to you. They might be like working out of state or something and come by and um, just notice your light or you're going to notice their light. There's just going to be like this, this, um, like your spirit guides just drawing you two together, like happiness, warmth, light. It's like a love at first sight kind of deal is what I'm feeling from this. Fast moving energy chaos, yeah. Magic, because you've manifested this. I feel like, or they manifested it too, because I think they were putting, someone was putting all their energy into a karmic partner, but they were putting so much, and either this was them putting their energy into the karm, into a karmic partner, or you putting your energy into a karmic partner, or both of you were, but you guys put so much like energy and intention into like just having love, just like praying for love, like praying and the universe took all that energy and instead of manifesting it with the karmic, they manifested it with, you know, you two, like new love instead. Um, so you're getting your desires, but just not, it's not the person you thought it was going to be basically. Um, or, or you're not the person they thought you're going to be, but, the, but you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. It's not going to be something that you're going to be upset about. Like you're going to be happy about it. You know what I mean? Like, this is what you've been praying for. This is. You guys have been doing, like, someone's maybe been doing love drawing magic as well, like, trying to find their person. And you're letting go of these people with fear of, yeah, hidden truth. You're like, I don't want people that have a fear of commitment anymore. You're you're moving past that. You're moving past that old, like, romanticizing things that are dead and over. You know what I mean? Like, you were in that energy or they were in that energy before of, like, you know, the romantic, unrequited love, like, having to chase it all all that kind of energy, like someone was in that karmic cycle before of just pining over things that were over with, you know what I mean? Like they thought it was romantic to, to be left out in the cold and to, you know, you know what I mean? Like how some people just romanticize that, like having the unrequited love, like writing love letters and poems and having to chase someone. And it's like, you just, they just came to this conclusion. Like this isn't romantic. This is actually lonely. Like pining after someone that's, that stone that doesn't want me that's afraid of commitment that's that's not that's not romantic or I mean you might have learned that lesson too like both of you might have learned this lesson and it's like it's not romantic it's like rom romance is like mutual feelings like actually having someone that you can joke around with that you can cuddle with that you can be with I mean that's romantic like mutual love is romantic one-sided love is just lonely and painful there's nothing romantic about it you know what I mean um 
And I feel like maybe you guys needed to go through that because you might have rejected them or they might have rejected you if you guys had gotten together before you guys learned that lesson because they might have still been romanticizing these kind of lonely one-sided connections or you might have been romanticizing these lonely one-sided connections. And so you might have felt like they were too good to be true or they would have felt like you were too good to be true, like it was too normal, too stable, and they would have gotten, someone would have gotten bored and sabotaged. So you guys had to go through these karmic cycles before you could actually be ready for this kind of relationship. Um, this like stable, committed relationship where it's passionate and it's exciting, but it's not like, there's not all the drama there. You know what I mean? It's just like, you guys just are honest and forward with each other. It's like, it's a real stable relationship. It's beautiful. It's a really good thing. You guys had to go through that perspective shift. Third party, vulnerability. Yeah, Karmix might be trying to come back around, but you're not going to entertain it. Shyness. Soul contract. Yeah, this person might get shy around you at first. This is probably someone you've had a past life with. This person might be like, I don't know. It's like you guys are just going to, it's it's a good connection. It's a really beautiful connection. Might start off kind of slow. I just feel like it's going to be, I don't know how to explain it. It's really good though. It's a really, it's a positive thing. It's, yeah, you're going to have an ex pop back up. <laughs> the ex is already trying to pop, pop back up in the reading. And I'm just like, no, you're done. Karmic exes are done. Like, nope. No. Um... Yeah, what else about? Show me the new love. I don't care about the old love. Show me the new love. Hesitation. Yeah, because I feel like you would have hesitated before. So it's almost like some of you are going to be shocked by this. Some of you are not going to see this coming and you're going to have to kind of pause. There's a sense of beauty, mystery, enchantment here. It's still going to be unfamiliar, but I feel like before, if you had not learned those karmic lessons, it would have been so unfamiliar that you would have just put them in the friend zone or they would have put you in the friend zone. So it's like it's still going to be kind of scary and kind of like mysterious to you or mysterious to them where it's kind of just like not your usual type um, or just like an unexpected meeting, which might even cause some confusion. You're like, where did this come from? Um but you've learned enough of a car. You've, you've wrapped the cycle up and up enough to at least be able to accept this now or before you probably wouldn't have or they wouldn't have either way. Yeah. And they're going to make a love offer. It might, like I said, you guys are going to have to be mindful though, like going at, like be mindful to go at their pace and, you know, vice versa, because this is going to be unfamiliar. This is going to be a relationship like you haven't had this kind of relationship before or they haven't had this kind of relationship before or both of you just haven't. Like it's it's going to be just new. It's going to be kind of mysterious, enchanting. Um, it's going to be like it's going to be healthy, which I think is going to be. I don't know if it's you or them, but for somebody, it's they're not used to healthy. They're not used to stable. They're not used to like. I'm coming over and bringing ice cream and I'm going to treat you like a king or treat you like a queen. Like someone's not used to that. Someone's going to question that at first a little bit. They're going to be like, what? Like, you're not going to leave me on red. You're just going to come over. We're just going to go on a date. Are you sure? Like it's, it's almost going to be like an awkwardness at, at some points where it's like, you're not, it's like, it's just, it's just new. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not, um, I feel like it's not the, not your typical connection. It's not, it's someone you might've overlooked before. Um, so you're going to be, have to be mindful to go at, at the same, at each other's pace, you know, like be mindful because, you know, something that's so different. And so like, it's, it's good. It's going to be a good thing that they're not your usual type or that you're, you know, vice versa, whatever, however, whoever, either you or them or both of you, like I said, but someone is going to kind of want to go a little bit slow just because it's so new and it's so unfamiliar that either you or them, someone is going to kind of want to like feel this out because they might, you know, someone might be kind of like, like, what is this? I haven't experienced this before. Is there a catch to this? Is this a game? Is this real? Is this really for me? Like, why is this so stable? Why is it so healthy? 
And you're going to have to check yourself to not bring drama into this. And same with them. You know what I mean? Like to not create issues that aren't there, to not sabotage this. Like this really is a stable connection. It's just very unfamiliar. You're not used to stable. So, you know, if your sense of home, your sense of like belonging is like is toxic, like if you grew up in a harsh environment, then it's like that's what you resonate with. And that was your pattern for a long time. And so this is probably going to be the first person that's like outside of that pattern. You know what I mean? Like the first person that's like just healthy and normal and stable. And there's not like drama. There's not craziness. It's like you guys just openly talk and communicate with each other. There's not like you express your needs and they don't yell at you or argue with you or put you down. Like they just understand your needs. Like you're going to be like, wow, is this for real? Like, so it's saying like when this comes in, learn to communicate in healthy ways. Learn, don't do things. This isn't going to be like it was with your exes. So don't think that you can do the things that you did with your ex with this person. Not that you were doing anything wrong, but like, let's say like with your exes, you guys like yelled at each other, for example, for some of you, like maybe when, you know, you guys got an argument. It's like they put you down. You, it was like a battle, like a, like a, um, just ego, like, um, you know, just a power struggle and they weren't trying to listen to you. You weren't trying to listen to them. You guys were just trying to one up each other. Whereas with this person, it's like, they're going to, when you guys, if you guys do argue, it's like going to be, they're going to be trying to understand you the entire time. Their goal isn't going to be to be right. It's not going to be to be, to one up you. They're going to be trying to understand where you're coming from. So get on that level with them. Don't just, you know what I mean? Like, don't do what you did with your ex and like try to one up them. Try to try to step back and understand that this person is actually healthy and they're actually trying to genuinely understand you. So don't argue just to argue. It's just like that kind of energy. It's like, don't, I know it's hard not to bring past baggage into your current relationship, but it's just saying like the things that worked with your exes are not, it's not going to work with this. Like this person's not going to, they're not going to do it. They're not going to, if you guys, if you argued with your exes, like they're not going to deal with the arguments or they, they want something healthy and stable. They're not going to deal with like jealousy and, um, and drama and negativity and all that. They're, they're, this is like an alpha type energy. Like they know who they are, what they want. So it's just kind of like a warning, like make sure, you know, like you have this coming in, but it's going to be unfamiliar and that's going to kind of scare you, but it's going to be a learning process. So the warning here is just kind of like, let go of the old ways, let go of the old patterns, continue. Like you've been letting go of them, but let go of them even more, like continue to step out of your comfort zone, continue to let go of them. And when this new love comes in, like do things differently. You know what I mean? Like don't expect the things that worked with the ex to work with this person, like really communicate in a different way with this person. Um, I hope that makes sense. But anyway, if this is your reading and you want a private reading, like I said, my email is below in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com, but you can just copy and paste it from, from below. Uh, any donations are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks.